We are in Oslo and installing a construction for our partner Spectre that we're not allowed to realize every day. Already in 2017, Hof equipped a carpet show with a flying stage. But if you thought that this was a big flying stage, you haven't seen the frozen cube of the show in 2022. This year, we won't leave it as a simple stage area. This year, the flying stage gets a hood of approximately 12 by 12 by 3.5 meters. That's quite impressive. The complete flown construction has been covered with plexi plates and a diffusion film, which causes the cube to become transparent or in a frosted glass look. This allows the crew on stage to make changes during the show without the audience noticing everything. We use 10 mm plexi plates on the side walls to save some weight and we use 20 mm plexi plates on the top side. As substructure, we use the popular MLT2 truss, the Hofbold 200-2 grid truss and a special version of the Hofwork 354 with lateral outlets to the MLT and integrated hanging points. A special feature in Static Challenge was to lift the hood with as few motor hoists as possible, as these do not necessarily improve the design of the construction. But it's not only a matter of lifting the cube, but also the complete technology inside consisting of moving lights, LED bars, special effects and so on. The construction weighs approximately 14 tons, including technology, which is why 16 C1 hoists of 2 tons each were used in the end, since the weights are of course not 100% evenly distributed in the construction. For the assembly of the structure, we took advantage of the function of the MLT2 dollies. The complete 12 by 12 meter platform was assembled in parallel with the wigging bird, but a completely different location in the venue. This allowed the hood team to work at the same time to the riggers who set the hanging points and rigged directly above the final position of the stage area and hood. The complete platform was then pushed and flown to its destination and the 3 meter side walls could then be assembled. Almost only standard components were used, only a few special cross beams were needed. This is good for the customer and the environment. The customer's team was supported by Hof supervisors during both assembly and dismantling. We think the end result is stunning and incomparable.